the function really of a uh, risk assessment is to stress test your uh, existing um, compliance policy. It's to help uncover uh, sort of high risk relationships or transactions or business practices that um, headquarters are, um, is previously unaware of. Part of a risk assessment involves a transactional testing and that transactional testing work um, typically uncovers risk exposures and um, control gaps that were previously uh, unknown or cannot be identified just from conducting management interviews. There are really three basic components. Uh, firstly, um, it's identifying and defining the risk. So it's finding the source of your risk exposure um, in the environment that you operate and getting an understanding of the nature of that risk um, as it relates to your operations in that country. The second component is a gap analysis, um, and that is um, looking at the existence of a framework for preventing and detecting uh, corrupt payments um, from being made by the company, um, looking at what it should have and what it currently has, and identifying those missing components. And the third component is um, testing the existing compliance program to see uh, if it works, whether there are risk exposures that um, companies don't know about. Generally, um, a risk assessment involves all three components, but um, to varying degrees, and that's really dependent on uh, what an organisation has in terms of a compliance policy and their current needs. So whether they're performing a risk assessment for the first time uh, or it's a, whether it's just a periodic assessment. It generally is a six-step process. The first step would involve information gathering, and that would involve um, data and document requests from that particular uh, operating subsidiary or business unit, um, or an initial discussions with local management just to um, get a, an understanding of where they see the risk and um, the environment that they operate in. The second step um, is to review and analyze the data um, that has been collected to select transactions for testing. So these will be high-risk transactions, uh, for example, looking at um, business courtesies um, pro being provided over the last 18 months, or um, looking at payments made uh, relating to obtaining licenses or um, to tax authorities, custom authorities, um, etc. And uh, the third step involves um, interviews uh, with um, the a cross section of employees of the organization. And um, the focus is really on frontline employees, so based on their job function. So whether it's the regulatory affairs uh, employee, the salesperson, but not only the senior sales members, but um, also the very junior sales engineers, the business development director, just to get a sense of how is it that they conduct business. You know, what is their interaction with the end customer? How much interaction do they have with government entities? Whether they use third parties and how they use these third parties, whether they regulate the way in which their third parties interact with their end customers. And the fourth step really is to go in-country uh, and do on-site transactional testing. And that really involves um, looking in deep dive into the actual transaction selected for review. Are those transactions uh, properly supported? Can you tell um, what those payments are for? And also doing a, a walkthrough of the controls they have in place. So for example, if um, there are certain uh, uh, authorization uh, procedures that, and, and, and review procedures that go through for expenses. Are those being followed? Um, is there a gap? Does finance perform um, a, a, a substantive review function or are they just making payments as long as it's approved by a business manager? And having collected all that information and done that analysis, it's the next step really is to step back and uh, evaluate the findings and find areas where you can improve um, the compliance framework. And having done that, and if the last step really is if there are remediation uh, procedures that are required, then it's um, the time to support the company through that.